First at 11, local veterans react to a key piece of legislation passed by Congress that increases health care coverage for veterans as far back as Vietnam. New at 11, News 13's Manny Martinez is live in our newsroom with a look at the PACT Act and the celebration of its passage. Manny. Bob and Annette, the veterans I spoke with today, say this is a monumental piece of legislation that's been a long time coming. They're happy it's right now close to being signed into law by President Biden. They also say it took far too long. You come back today from a deployment, but you don't know what's going to happen to you five years from now. 21-year Army veteran Todd Haviland was exposed to toxic chemicals while serving in Haiti. You know what, if the average person actually knew what the military was doing around the world and what we've been exposed to and what we've been involved in, I, I think there'd be a lot more people standing up going, hey, you know, this is screwed up and we really need to figure out a way to unscrew it. Haviland is a staunch supporter of the PACT Act passed by the Senate on Tuesday. The White House celebrated its passage, calling it the most significant expansion of benefits and services for toxic exposed veterans in more than 30 years. The bill expands eligibility for veterans who served in Vietnam, the Persian Gulf, and Iraq as well as Afghanistan, while adding more than 20 new presumptive conditions to burn pits and other toxic exposures. I think it's a big step because it opens the door for so many more veterans that otherwise never would have had the opportunity to get into the VA system. The act stalled in the Senate last week with Democrats and Republicans at an impasse over budgetary concerns. You know, when politicians get their fingers in things, who knows how long it's going to take. Some Republicans didn't agree with Democrats designating $400 billion spent by the VA as mandatory spending. But ultimately, the two sides reached a deal. South Carolina Senators Lindsey Graham and Tim Scott voted in favor. So did North Carolina's Richard Burr. Tom Tillis voted no. Of those four, only Senator Graham voted yes last week. Haviland says Tuesday's vote is thanks in large part to the thousands of veterans sending letters and making phone calls, plus all those picketing in Washington over the weekend. It's a big win. It's a big win for all of us. And I, and I think it's something that everybody that's been involved at no matter what level should be proud of. And Bob and Annette, President Biden says he'll sign the legislation as soon as it hits his desk. You can track the bill's path through Congress and the deal the two sides reached on our website right now at WBTW.com. Live in the newsroom, Manny Martinez, News 13.